when I have to work with a client who's rewriting a script, one of the biggest things I find is that the script kind of goes nowhere. The scenes are nonsensical. They're just a bunch of random scenes put together and, and then there's an ending. And I wonder if, if that is something you've ever uh, had to deal with. Uh, in Making a Good Script Great, I talk about scene sequences. And I think I might be the only person who's really talking about this, that you think of scenes as action, reaction, action, reaction. And so you get, uh, you get the scenes put together and they often are put together with the beginning, middle, and end. Right. Particularly these scene sequences like a car chase. You can create that car chase in three acts. You know, they turn Brilliant. a corner and now the police are there after them, whereas they were on their own in, in act one of the scene yeah. sequence. And, um, and, and actually, Ron Howard said that is one of the things that he got out of making a good script fake that he has used in so many of his films as you think of the sequence of scenes not the episodes because it's really easy to fall into arbitrary episodes and yeah pretty soon everything is in there so and you're looking at the cohesive whole sort of what's the magnet that holds the scenes together yeah. why is that scene there why is it important if you could take it out and you don't need it then you may as well take it out right just cut it so you're, you're looking at doing a scene and giving a scene a beginning a middle and an end basically like a three-act structure within the scene itself yeah you you're often not all you know not always i mean there's mm -hmm. some scenes that are just there to transition or to right. move the story but the sequence of scenes say it's a series of scenes in different locations that are all connected and have a beginning middle and end yeah. leading to a climax yeah that that's it's next level. It's brilliant. Yeah.